talk about a film that is actually still in the theaters. It just came in. Les Miserables. I had a dream my life would be. Les Mis, to you and me. It is French for the miserable ones, which is what you will be if you go see it with an actor. Because here's the problem, and I love actors. I used to be one. The problem is, is that actors only like things that they are in. They only like to watch themselves. And if you try to go see a movie, especially a film adaptation of a musical, they are going to tell you every which way that it is wrong. How they performed it better, they saw it better in college, they saw it on tour, it was better in this recording. The only thing worse than going to see a movie musical with an actor is to watch American Idol with a singer. Oh, trust me, you will only make that mistake once. The movie is two and a half hours long. You're gonna to wanna to plan your bladder relief uh, around that time frame. It's a tearjerker, and I'm not gonna lie, it's like right out of the gate, they don't even give you a second to recover. I was literally holding on to the armrests because I was so afraid that I was going to heave myself through my hole and hang myself. Okay, Anne Hathaway? Can we just talk about Anne Hathaway? Who knew that that poor, Sweet little princess of a girl had so much pain and agony inside of her. She was amazing. And that she goes through such torture. When they shear her hair, her beautiful hair, it is like, it's the worst haircut you've seen in pop culture since Britney Spears. She is definitely gonna be winning an Oscar. Okay, my prediction. Who am I? Hugh Jackman? Okay, Hugh Jackman? Is there anything this man can't do? He's Wolverine, he can sing, he can dance. If you look in the dictionary under Renaissance Man, there's a picture of him without a shirt. He's amazing. And there are scenes where both of them are just singing in the camera, one take, and you just watch a tear fall down their eye. Bring tissues, I don't care who you are. I don't care how tough you are. You bring some tissues, because if you don't, you're gonna be using your sleeve, you're gonna be using those crummy little napkins that the movie theater gives you. No, you're gonna want like a big, sturdy hanky. I would bring a bath towel, truly, having experienced it. Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe. Okay, what do you expect? It's not Pavarotti, all right? He does fine. I just want you to know that it's a good movie, but you're gonna leave like it's a heavy movie. If you're going on a date, have the date part before the movie, because you're gonna leave like, I'm having a really good time, I hate my life. Do you wanna go to my place after? It's just, I'm, you know, that's kind of the feeling. It stays with you, but it's a great movie. Go enjoy it. Don't take an actor, leave them home. They're gonna be probably watching old DVDs of them perform anyway. That's it, that's all I got for you. What do you want? I'm still, I'm like sweating from talking about Anne Hathaway. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> all right, I'm good.